Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing? It is 23rd. Yeah, the 23rd. I'm gonna take a little stroll here. Look at this. This is uh, looks good. Hey, go, good morning. Hello, hello. This is uh, the building. Hey. Oh, oh yeah. From? From? Where, where? I live here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I live here. Yeah, you live yeah. here. Oh, oh, yeah. Looks good. All right. Okay, thank you. That was, oh, six months ago, that was a hardware store. They moved down around the corner. And uh, that building is in there now. So it took them like six months to get it up. I'm just taking a walk up through here. Nowhere special. It's not a special walk. It's just a walk. Huh, I figured they'd be open. The place here does signs. They're the ones that did my cup. I haven't walked up here in a couple weeks. This used to be a motorcycle place, and well, it's empty now. Sunny, beautiful morning. Here's another one. Here's another one that's gone up. Within the past six months. I don't know what it is going to be. I don't see a sign. It says for lease commercial space, so it's commercial. So what's the big news, guys? You know what the big news is here? Uh, everybody's talking about it. Everybody is talking about it, at least in this area and around, I would imagine around the Philippines because it is made like news. We went out of the local area and has made it to Philippine news. Uh, maybe some of you subscribers that live here in other areas, maybe you have or haven't heard about it. But uh, they had, there was a incident involving an off-duty police officer here. Uh, from what Lut was telling me, it all, it all basically stemmed from a land dispute. It all boils back to a land dispute, bitterness between one family and another family. And well, the one family, the one, the one guy uh, that was involved was an off-duty police officer. And uh, they were arguing and arguing and, and bam, this dude pulled out his revolver and just point blank shot a mother and her son, the ones that they were having a dispute with. Just boom, point blank, bam, pow, 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 three shots. Uh, a lot of times you'll see, a lot of times, you know, these videos go around and uh, they get viral. And here, here, evidently the officer that was involved that shot the mother and the son was a high ranking police officer, uh, PMP, and uh, they checked his records and he had like a, his records for different things were bad. I think they even said at one, he even had one where he was also <clears throat> accused of shooting and killing somebody else, but uh, due to lack of evidence, he was let free. They, it's sad. I mean, this this is so big that Rafi Tofi, Rafi Tofo, I think that's it. Um, he's a Rafi Tofo is a I guess what do you call him like a news person. If you ever have a problem, hunt down Rafi Tofo and he'll help you out. Uh, but it even made it to that. Uh, I know that it made it to the pal. You know, the, I think they call it the palace here, the presidential palace. Uh, but that's the talk. I seen the video. It was oh, 
unbelievable. I mean, this dude just, this officer just shot these people like, you know, like you were drinking a cup of water. Like he, boom, boom, boom. Didn't even think about it. Uh, but that's the news. That's what's going around. But you know what, guys? Taking the stop sign. You know what, guys? You don't see these people riding. You don't see these people protesting. You don't see these people burning down their neighborhood because of something a bad police officer did. And you know what? It's like I have said, you got good, you got bad. You got good ones, you got bad ones. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I've always said, you got bad Hello, people. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, you got good doctors, you got bad doctors. You got good lawyers, you got bad lawyers. You got good policemen, you got bad policemen. You got good military guys, you got bad... You know what I'm saying? It's bad or good anywhere you go around the world. But, like I said, you don't see these people riding. They're smart enough to know if I burn down the store next to me that I won't be able to shop there the next day. <clears throat> Remember that lady, guys? Uh, she was the one you guys kept saying, why is she uh, scratching her private areas. Video probably, I don't know, four or five months ago. She, and that's a woman. Some of you guys said, oh, that's a dude. No, that is a woman. Trust me, that's a woman. Uh, she's just one of the homeless women here. I'm debating. I think I just might go to McDonald's. Get me a, get me a Egg McMuffin sandwich. What was given out her Christmas gifts to her customers today. Uh, she has, well, has a few customers that she uh, gave some gifts out to. Ones that were, ones that are, um, ones that are like just regular customers. She can't give them to all her customers. But they'll, I guess you would call regular, consistent, come back every day customers. Uh, she was giving gifts out. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, there's the McDonald's. I got this head over there. Give me something to eat. Across here, they're pretty good here with stopping. Deep niggers stopping and dropping off. All right, all right, time to head into McDonald's. All right, guys, I just left McDonald's. We'll take a little stroll up this way. We'll walk up MacArthur here. See what's going on. Good morning. Merry Christmas. We'll just stroll up this way, see what's going on up this way. See time up in this area. Got your leech on. I don't know what time it is. Nine o'clock maybe? Nine, nine thirty? Something like that. People up here looking down the road waiting for the jeepney to get down there. Here on 
Johnny's on the right hand side. Everybody likes Johnny's. Johnny's is the... It's been here forever, right guys? Forever and ever. A long, long time. Oh, excuse me. Here's Johnny's. Johnny's entrance. No mask, no shield, no entrance. On Verge. They got sitting tents outside in a queue. I don't even go up and pay. I don't even go up to Converge anymore. We'll send up our. Where do I want to go? I guess I'll go down here and walk across. We'll send up the uh, our house cleaner. <laughs> send her up and say, "Go, go and pay the bill." I can't deal with that. I can't deal with those lines like that. Uh, the bank is different because I know when to go there when it's not that full. But converge, you go anytime you go there. It's just crazy full, and uh, it's just crazy, crazy full. And uh, I'm thinking of the word to say. Very un. It's just unorganized. Let's just put it that way. All right, I'm just going to take a stroll back this way. That's MacArthur right there. There's the 7-Eleven. Over there is Filipino Casino, Casino Filipino, whatever it is. I'm just going to walk back this way. Take a little stroll. Work my way back to the store. Let's see, do I want to make a left and go down that way? Uh, nah, we'll go down the other way here. Go down this way and loop around. It used to be two two-way road here. During the pandemic, they opened this up off of McCarthy Drive down here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they shut it off. And I was coming down MacArthur, and I wanted to turn. I noticed that they had it shut off again. And I'm thinking to myself, ah, should I do it or not? Like, nah, I went up the road a little bit, made a left, came down this way and out this way. And when I got down here, the uh, traffic enforcers were sitting down there. They were stopping people from making that turn up there off of MacArthur because people were doing it still. The old, uh, well, you're not going to get me. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Now, of course, at night, uh, you know, nobody breaks the law. Traffic enforcers all go home. And uh, it's back to usual. Just looking around here. Driven through here. I even walked through here many times. It's a park tail. Studio type for rent. It looks pretty nice in there. It's a pretty busy street down here. Because you have, um, uh, what do you have down here on the left? The uh, Barangay Hall on the left. So it's usually pretty busy during the day through here. When I get up here, I'll tell you the name of the street. I've walked this street many times. Like I said, I'm just out walking. Morning walk. Uh, good morning. Empty lot. I wouldn't say it's empty, just nothing going on in there. Then you got the little market up here on the left. Oh, 
Oh, I know what I want to talk about. Lutz's brother. Her brother, uh, Bloy, left to go back to the province last night. Yeah, I tell you what, that kid, <laughs> straight up province kid. Couldn't, he didn't want to go anywhere, do anything. Uh, that was RV Pounce. RV Pounce, SR Street. Um, kid didn't want to go anywhere. You know, he was up there this whole time and never once went to the mall. Like, he was, he's a straight up promise kid. He came up here about two years ago. I'll walk this way. He was having some problems. Not, not, not bad problems or anything like that. Brungai Hall, that's it. Uh, he was just having issues back in the province and, uh, he was getting depressed and everything. So, we got him up here. It's probably been two years now. So get up here. You can work at the store. Uh, we'll pay for your ride up here and everything. So we got him up here just to get him away from the environment that he was in and things he was dealing with. And the kid, like I said, he never went anywhere. He just, he stayed at the store. Uh, he was over at the store in Dao when we had it there. And, of course, there was a little apartment upstairs. He stayed there. Um, then when we moved the store over to the area where it's at now, um, didn't have a didn't didn't have an apartment or anything like that. But he did have a, a bathroom, and you know, give him a bucket with running water, and he can shower and everything. Uh, so the kid was always always at the store. Like Wood told him, we're going to give you one day off a week. And you will take that day off. And a lot of times he wouldn't even take the day off. He uh, would just stay at the store. Uh, but an opportunity, he wanted to go back for a little while now. Um, he, the opportunity arose for him uh, this, what, about a week or two ago, to where he could catch a ride. Somebody, he hooked up with somebody that buys trucks like big trucks like the one i just walked by something like this um, or even bigger uh, and the guy buys them out of subic bay and and then he'll come up here and then he'll drive these trucks to wherever they have to go mindanao see wherever well he had to deliver one of the trucks down to mindanao down an area where it looks from so he hooked up with a ride with that dude and uh that's how he's getting back home back down to Minden now uh, but yeah he's a, he was a good he's a good kid he which people are saying well what's gonna do now he, he just likes farming he, he's always been like a farmer out in the fields farming and stuff and uh there's property that the family owns that he's gonna start re-farming and the thing is he'll work that's the thing no matter what it is he'll work so yeah it's sad to see him go anyways here we are we're just back up get around circle getting ready for christmas feast tomorrow night here they are going to eat christmas eve that's like the tradition to eat christmas eve meal of course we'll hang out christmas day and I don't know. We'll find something to do. I'm sure we always do. But anyways, there it is, guys. With that being said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of the sick, the elderly, and the young. If you have pets, take care of your pets. Two more days till Christmas. And uh, we'll talk to you later.